Renowned profiler Paul Britton believes some serial killers are too unpredictable for the computer, such as a murderer he profiled in 1994. When we caught the fellow who had killed her, one wants to look at why. And why did he choose her? He chose her because she wore red shoes. So although there can be deep psychological characteristics about each individual victim, it may be that there are very superficial characteristics that you need to attend to as well. And that's why it's important to ask all of the questions. I think a great difficulty that sometimes attaches to people who are newly coming to the field of psychological profiling or who perhaps haven't yet developed the depth of experience is that they will come to conclusions too soon. Serial killers have learned to stay a step ahead. Many adapt to the police's profiling tactics, trying to throw investigators off the scent. But a profiling innovation is now revolutionizing the hunt. It's called geographic profiling, a system that shows police where to look for serial killers. How an offender kills speaks volumes. And for a long time, police have also known that where is just as important. This understanding has led to the invention in Canada of a new type of scientific profiling, the geographic profile. The uh, most accurate profile that I, was, I have ever prepared uh, identified the offender in the top one one hundredth of a square kilometer of the uh, profile area. There are only seven geographic profilers on the planet. Brad Moore is one of them. For years, police officers have been putting pins into maps and uh, trying to identify where the offender lives based on where he's committing his crimes. All we're doing now with geographic profiling is quantifying that and, and putting numbers to what uh, has uh, always been theories and concepts that police officers have looked at. Geographic profiling relies on a mathematical computer program called RIGEL. Geographic profiling is based on the concept of distance decay. That Many people do things, more things closer to home than they do further from home. So we have uh, a computer algorithm or an equation that is used to calculate distance decay, and we use that distance decay to determine where offenders are based. A typical geographic profile uh, takes generally in excess of a million calculations to prepare, and Rigel does those million calculations in about four seconds.